Hi and welcome. In the previous video, we saw what is mean by serverless and what are its benefit and how there is no server management. But people get confused. Uh, what is the difference between platform as a service and a serverless architecture as both uh, manages underlying infrastructure for us. So now let us take a real life example. So there are two ways we can uh, use water at home and a serverless computing can be compared to a using water from the tap considering water as your computing power we use tap for using uh, water and it can be switched on anytime and can provide us as much water as is required whereas platform as a service is more like a water bottle delivery service it is still possible that uh, using delivery service we can obtain as much water as needed but it is not as simple as using water tap if you need more water, you have to ask the delivery guy or the vendor to deliver more as your demand increases. In both scenarios, uh, somebody else is handling it, uh, such as uh, the task of purifying the water, uh, bringing it to the building, etc. But only water from the tap can be scaled precisely on demand and in real time. Now let us see how pricing differs for platform as a service and serverless. Let's continue with our water consumption metaphor. People who use water from the tap pay for the exact amount of water consumed. Similarly, serverless billing is extremely precise wherein you get charged for the duration your function runs. So that is how you get charged for the serverless. People who use water from delivery guy uh, also pay for the water being delivered but in this case you are getting charged uh, by per jug model and uh, not by the consumption model. So similarly platform as a service vendor charges for what their application use but it's not as precise as serverless. Sometimes you get monthly billing for their services as well and platform as a service you can increase your consumption and customize it. However, this is based on the advanced information that you provide and it is not responsive to increase in the demand dynamically. It is to note that this does not mean using serverless architecture is always more affordable. It will not be efficient if your tap is running 24 by 7, which could be a little expensive. So you need to be careful about the model that you choose for your compute needs. Now based on this chart, you can understand how platform as a service and serverless slightly differ and what is common between them. In case of platform as a service, for your application to scale automatically, you have to go and configure scale out scale in rules. But in case of serverless, uh, we don't need such configuration and Azure will manage it as demand changes. You have a control over deployment environment and uh, comparatively there is less control over the deployment environment in case of serverless. And serverless is actually uh, micromanaged but you still have limited management responsibilities in case of platform as a service. But now they have few things in common such as uh, you don't have to manage server at all in either cases and in both of the cases uh, you have to just write the code and deploy. Everyone is in the race to develop fastest and having efficient software and hence organizations are using cloud uh, for the same uh, where they leverage a platform as a service offering. Uh, it is a great choice for the developers because it gives more functionalities of security, scaling, etc. Uh, with the less management responsibilities. It also helps team focus on the key areas of business without maintaining infrastructure and uh, runtime as well. Uh, but nowadays people are also using serverless architecture uh, which is a extended version of platform as a service uh, which gives more flexibility. So as shown in the diagram how things have evolved over the years from the developing on on premises yeah, on a physical server to going serverless and everything became uh, as a service. Now we have to be careful while choosing the right option for our compute needs uh, if we should go for serverless or we should go for the platform as a service. 
and we should not end up choosing the wrong one as it may cost us as our application grows in future uh, so i have given few scenarios here which will help us uh, to decide the correct option of models to choose so first is uh, if your application has some user interface then you should go for the platform as a service where you can use web app if you are developing web uh, uh, api or the scheduled task then you should go for uh, serverless and your application is handling long running transaction which requires 5 to 8 seconds to complete uh, then in that case you should go for the platform as a service because serverless are meant to handle the small uh, task and the next is uh, if uh, your application is going to you know handle variable amount of traffic sometime it is a spike sometime it is uh, at a rest then in that case you should uh, go for the serverless and the next is uh, if you know that uh, your application is going to handle the static amount of traffic uh, uh, then in that case you can either go for the platform as a service or you can uh, go for the serverless as well depending on the need and if you need uh, quick sc uh, scaling of your application so in that case you should go for the serverless because uh, you are not actually managing the scaling part here serverless will handle it automatically and in in a, in a case where your application uh, will have a constant high usage it is a constant but it is a high usage then in that case you should go for the platform as a service so in the above app option where we saw static amount of traffic it was a static but uh, we are not sure uh, whether it is this uh, you know high usage or low usage but now in this case we are sure that it is a high usage then in that case you should go for the platform as a service and if you have a short transaction then of then of course you, sh uh, you should go for the serverless so these are a few scenarios where it will help you to decide whether you should go for the platform as a service or you should go for the serverless so that's it uh, guys for the serverless versus platform as a service uh, so now i hope uh, we are clear when to choose serverless and when to choose platform as a service thank you